Hold on, wait, if I run, a, if I question. run a comp, if I run a company and I'm the CEO of the company, wait, wait, wait. Company look how look how happy Roland is, man. He's he's so happy as a debating partner. <laughs> he has a debate partner. He's very uh, yo. His face. He he, <laughs> he he knows that what is going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both know what's going on. <laughs> Next time around. But anyway, victimhood is all all over the place, and to 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 talk about it, we are going to look at a video from Roland Martin, who visited the Valuetainment or the. Patrick Bad David podcast. The head victimologist. <laughs> the head victim in charge. You know, you know the H head ninja in charge. He's the head victim in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um yeah, so he visited the um uh, the show and they had a a good discussion of about these topics. And we're going to look at a particular part of that interview or that discussion or the panel, how you want to call it, about the race relations uh, in America. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, take a look as Patrick asks Roland a question. 27 out of top 30 cities. In American crime ran by Democrats. Why? I, first, I will tell you. Tell first us. of all, it's where African Americans are living. So let's bring up Chicago in particular. What you have had in Chicago is you have had some of the most, the greatest racial segregation, not in 20 years, not in 30 years, but literally in 100 plus years. Led by Democrats. But no, no, hold on. here's the deal though. Okay. <laughs> I will show you how Mississippi has the largest percentage of black people yeah. in America. Run by Republicans, broke as hell. Explain that. Explain. Already, he rerouted that question. <laughs> Yo, that was a smooth reroute. He started. The question was about. He started talking about Chicago, and some some way he rerouted the question to Mississippi and Republicans. That's yeah. Well, because, yeah, because Patrick asked, because uh, for those who don't know, Roland Martin is a definitely, no, a de a Democrat, definitely without a doubt. Uh, he's very loyal to the party and that that opens you up for blind spot. Here at the Double Thought Show, we always say that you should keep, you should always stay critical, even of the opinions and the thoughts that you are more you you feel more drawn to yeah and the question was simple if the republicans are so bad and the democrats are so good how come that i don't recall the exact questions but the, the how is it that the democrats ran the democrat ran cities or areas show the most level of poverty. 27 out of top 30 cities in American crime ran by Democrats. Why? I, first, I'll... Why? Why? That's just a question. Why? And then he goes to Chicago. Then Mississippi. And the Chicago is very good. It's a good strategy because then the question is a general question, but then you take it to one example. And Chicago is perhaps the worst, one of the worst, at least, cities in, in America with regards to poverty and crime. And I think Mississippi is this poorest state, I believe. But yeah. they, it goes there and doesn't tackle the other cities or the other um, states. So it's, it's, you just use one example and generalize afterwards. Let's see what else he has to say about this because it's it's getting even better. Because hell, explain that. Explain me the highest, uh, the highest. Tell me what. Look at Patrick, <laughs> Patrick's face. Right. Well, he's trying to figure out wh where is this going. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm go back. I'm gonna go back. Let me see if I can make this bigger, guys. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Look at his face. 
as he failed. Explain that. Explain me the highest, uh, the highest. Tell me when you have. But, no, no, hold on. Wait, 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 Crime 27 out of 30, not economic. Economic is a different story. No, it's not. But I agree with you that we need to get the financial situation. No, 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 no. And the, you're making the you mistake. You went to Mississippi. No, you're making the no, mistake. No, no, Here's the mistake you're making. 27 you, out of 30. Here's the mistake you're making. When you say crime, I just ha I just obliterated a black, black conservative my show on this whole issue. When you say crime. Let's try already to pull rank on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Uh, that's what he does. He debates just to debate, right? So, and look how proud he was. Not that he was right, but that he obliterated a conservative on this show. He's not saying, maybe, maybe that, that conservative is an idiot. He doesn't exactly. know that stats. But exactly. you don't know that. He says, I, 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 I deleted someone. He's, he's done because of me. Exactly. Maybe yeah, someone yeah. Who, who doesn't know any statics, uh, uh, statistics. Sorry. He, do, he doesn't even. He doesn't even know what a Republican is. <laughs> he just found himself like a deer in the headlights. Okay, let's continue. And you have to then say, okay, what is the what is the uh, the, the the what creates crime? No, what what creates crime? What creates crime? When people are not doing well initially. What else? Your surrounding and environment, who you're around. No, what else? Pick up habits. What else? Bad policies. No, 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 no. What else? See, you know. What would you say, RJ? What would you say are things that create poverty? That's a very broad question, right? That's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> it's very important. And this, yeah. is, this is how can you? I mean, this is it is a you're gonna by asking that question, he's basically putting you into a spot like, yeah, where uh, I have, yeah, it's a very smart question. If you want to put something on the spot, as a manipulator, as yeah. a manipulative tactic, is a good, is a good, yeah, it's a good move. That's why, let's I, see, let's see how Patrick, let's see how he tackles it, yeah. You didn't have to answer it, by the way. It was just uh... <laughs> see, you're jumping to policies. It, the, the, but it the, is bad the, policy. The under, wait a minute. No, no, no. If no, I no. lead a company, no, no, no. Roman, the underpinning. Roman. Hold on, wait. If I run, a, a, if I run a comp, if I run a company, and I'm the CEO of the company. Wait, wait, wait. Look how ha look how happy Roland is, man. He's he's so happy as a debating partner. <laughs> he has a debate partner. He's very, uh, you know, his face, uh, he, he, <laughs> he, he knows that what is going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both know what's going on. Yeah. Look at his face. Look <laughs> at his face. Oh, this, the, hey, this should be a meme, man. He's happy. I think he's, uh, they should make a meme uh, out of it. This is like <laughs> the, the evil guy that, that's winning right now. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyway, hey, this is a great, this is a great, uh, you gotta say, man, the guy is a, he's very good at what he does. You can say a lot about him, whether you you don't agree with him. You got to give it up. He's very good at spinning. Yeah. If I run a, comp if I run a company and I'm the CEO of the company, <laughs> if the company improves or doesn't improve, it's based on my policies. I'm the head running the company, the department. If it doesn't improve, it's because of me. So let me, what so, else would it so let me lay it out to you again. Go for it. When you talk about what is the underpin of, what the underpinning of crime. John Hope Bryant, founder of Operation Hope, this is what he said. He said, show me a community where you've seen a riot with a credit score 700 or higher. The reality is when you talk about crime in this country, you're talking about economics, you're talking about education, you're talking about housing, you're talking about health. Mm -hmm. Show me areas where you do not have high crime. I am going to show you areas that don't have the same, uh, uh, aren't as compacted. That's first. What you have is when you talk about crime in places, you then look at what are the numbers of people there? What are the pockets there? What are those communities? And how did those communities, how were they created literally not over 20, 30 years, but literally over 50, 75, 100 years? Now, that's that was Jim Crow. How many years does it take to change? What are you talking about? How, how many years does it take? Yeah. Okay, you. 
That's a good question. Uh, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what uh, Patrick will. What uh, so it's a good Golden. question by 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 Patrick now. Because he, Patrick's whole point is that if 27 of the 30 poorest cities in the world are are America. enough, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, cities in America, yeah, yeah. Citizen Amer America are, are or maybe so, maybe in the future I mean, in the world. Who knows? It's in the world that you have a bigger problem. <laughs> but if twenty-seven of the if the twenty-seven of thirty of the poorest cities in America are uh, ran by Democrats for sixty years or something, fifty something or sixty years, And you'd say, yeah, because there's no housing, health, all you do the four things he mentioned, four or five things that Roland Education, just mentioned. Health, uh, uh, housing, I think there was two more. Two more. So, so let's say five things. Yeah. In 60 years, 57 years, you should be, you should have put those five things in the city. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. If you if you are the one in charge, then you should have been able to do it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. If you had a plan. Yeah. If you had a plan. If you had a plan. If you had a plan, you should, of course, you, you, you work on everything step by step. Maybe education first, maybe housing first, but I would say uh, over 60 years should have been better. Yeah. Unless you're trying to hustling someone. 